Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in the universe. This is Commander Swifty, the ineffectual gamer. And this is a retro live stream. Time to go a bit re retro tonight. I'll get to talk about some things a little bit later because I'm, I didn't realise it was so many days since I've streamed. Um, I really didn't realise it was like 10 days or something. So, I was a bit disappointed with that, but anyway. So, today I am going to be streaming Snatcher. Because this is what I really fancied to stream tonight. So, we're going to start. I'm going to load the game in the background. I'm hoping this is going to work. It's not going to work in the exact way that I wanted it to do, because unfortunately, um, there's something wrong with the capture um, on the on the, um, what's it called, the retro software, I've forgotten the bloody name of it, but you know what I mean anyway, we don't need to split hairs about it, so I'm just going to see if I can uh, do that, have I crashed it? So I'm going to bring up the stream screen. I'm going to have to turn that down a bit, aren't I? Okay, I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to bring up the Sega screen. And at the moment you're just seeing my general desktop because that's how I've had to set it up today. So I'm hoping that looks alright. Um, I thought that was the general uh, thingamajig. So, uh, we'll exit that. I don't know how the hell I've managed to get into this situation. Anyway, we'll load the image. I wanted it to be much... Uh, I think we have to boot the CD again. Let's try it again. Okay, there we go. Right, load the image. Okay, that's good though, because there is a space in the chat. I can see all that and everything, so... There we go, and we're away. Thank you. 
And I'm having to do it like this because I couldn't use the capture software, unfortunately. And just need to send a message. But you're gonna see all my bloody messages here and everything. I hope no porn pops up. No, it doesn't. I don't use it. I'm cleaner than a whistle, of course. Just like everybody else. Right, okay, so that's kind of working. I can see it on my on my phone chat <laughs> come chat screen. Um I can see that it shows the Konami screen and everything, so that's all good. Right, okay, so God, this is going to be so hard to get used to, but... The story, characters and events in this game are entirely fictional. Any similarities to actual people, places and events are purely coincidental. This story is dedicated to all those cyberpunks who fought against injustice and corruption every day of their lives. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that stupid voice. June 6, 1996. A mysterious explosion destroys the Chernotin research facility near Moscow. Lucifer Alpha, a powerful biological weapon under secret development there, is released into the atmosphere, creating a deadly biohazard. Carried by the trade winds, Lucifer Alpha spreads throughout Eastern Europe and Eurasia, destroying 80% of the populace. Half of the world's people die. The greatest biohazard in history later becomes known simply as the catastrophe. But at this time, who could have possibly imagined that the ultimate biohazard wouldn't occur for another half century? 50 years later, Mankind faces its greatest crisis, the appearance of a mysterious android life form. Its purpose and origin are unknown. Is it a new form of weapon? Or perhaps an invasion from some other world? They appear during winter killing humans and infiltrating society by taking the place of their victims. Employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Part organic, part machine, they're almost impossible to distinguish from those they kill. As they steal their victims' bodies in order to take their place, these mysterious invaders become known as... Snatchers. I'm going to just let a lot of this play out. I'm not going to try not to speak if there's stuff over the top. Some of it is text-based and I will read that out for anybody who's just difficulty of sight. December 2047, Neokowi City. Nothing like Blade Runner. The reason I decided to come over and do this game, or at least to stream this game, is I have talked about doing it before, but also because I've been reading to Android Stream of Electric Sheep. And so I was just like, you know what, I'm going to finally stream that game and do a retro stream. We might do some other retro stuff later, but I can't remember if I actually got anything saved on the, on the computer at the moment.
And this game came out in the 90s for the Sega CD. I think you get it pre-90s actually with other stuff. But <laughs> remember these graphics at the time were just like, wow! If you're re-watching this video later, you can stream past these menus, but I just wanted to have a look at them. Okay? Hmm. Gillian, what is it? What's wrong? Jamie, I've become a junker. A junker? Gillian, but why? Jamie, you know why. It's the only way we can regain our lost memories. Snatcher is the only word that keeps coming back every time we try to remember our past. I have to face them to find out why. Yes, but I can sense that there is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Jamie! I'm going now. I don't know how they weren't sued for this. Jamie! What? I can't hear you! Zone by the 17th Siberian Investigative Force. Both Gillian and Jamie suffer from severe amnesia, their memories of events prior to being picked up in Siberia, lost in a mysterious mental fog. Two years ago, after a vain attempt to rebuild their marriage, Jamie and Gillian separate. Following extensive special military training, Gillian is ordered to report to Neo Kobe City as a junker. Effective today. It's a pretty darn good introduction for a video game. Back then as well. Back in the 90s. Konami Omni Building Junker Headquarters. About 9.15 at night. Act 1, Snatch. Okay, so I have very vague memories, and I have actually... I tried it uh, a couple of weeks back just to see if it was working. I tried this part, and I don't even think I got through the door. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> As I said, it's very heavily text-driven, but it has got some uh, voiced parts when when the when the when you're in the story main story parts. So Mika is the girl behind the counter. She says, "Welcome to Junker Headquarters. May I help you?" So you can enter, look, or investigate, and it gives you lots of things um, that you can do. Um, I don't think you really need to look at these it just tells you about the stuff it's a bit like in there's some pretty heavy duty stuff you've got here this place may be more dangerous than I thought and you know it has those ki kinds of things um, look investigate pick up all that stuff so but I think at this point you just have to talk to her I'll see I'm not even allowed to enter so I'll talk to her I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker Headquarters effective today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. 
My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker Headquarters. Very pleased to meet you. Okay, so I think we can ask her about some things. So I'll ask her about, well, maybe everything but herself. I don't know. We'll ask her about Junkers, see what she says. Could you tell me a little bit about Junker operations? The Junkers are a special task force put together to combat the Bioroid. Mm. Snatcher. It's the only... Android's the only thing they didn't want to pilfer from other movies and games. And Android would have been fine because it's not owned by anybody, the term, I don't think. It's overseen by government intelligence agencies. Okay. Sasuke Neo Kobe. This is my first time in town. Oh, you'll get used to it right away. Everybody's pretty welcome. There are many different ethnic groups and types of people here. It's Japan, but it's not Japan, if you know what I mean. Okay, so that's a bit different from Blade Runner. They're setting it in real Japan rather than in the um, futurized Japanese version of uh, San Francisco, which is what Blade Runner was in. I'll ask about her. From the air, it's hard to believe it's a man-made island. Well, it's pretty big. They practically filled in the whole inland sea. Okay, so uh, I think we'll talk to her. Uh, area, maybe? There seems to be Junker Headquarters Lobby. Their security looks really tight. Well, how do you like it? I bet you'd like to see the office, right? Yeah, I would. How do I go back? I've been the science junker operations effective today. You just told me that. Okay, sorry. Investigate. From pod. See, the problem is, is that sometimes th things don't um, pop up. Just look at everything. Camera. Looks like the money is enough. The chief always monitors the office. And uh, area was the other one. Okay, so we can look one more time. So look at the plate. press that one, can I? No. Okay, I just have to go through everything, I'm afraid. Until it gives me an option. Right, okay, ask. No, hang on a moment. Some options disappeared there. Tartar again. I can tell you're very smooth with the ladies. Enter, there you go. See, sometimes you just have to go through stuff. It's a bit silly, Gillian? but. Gillian's fine, and you can call me Gillian Mika. Okay, Gillian. I'll open the main door and show you around headquarters. Where shall I show you first? Uh, let's start with the Chief's office, we might as well. Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham, the Chief of Junker Operations. Is that Barry? Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special Forces Division. I've heard all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the army picked me up three years ago. You're married, aren't you? 
Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very little to base a good relationship on. I can see your point there. Okay, so we'll ask him about some things. So there's these different, four different options here. So I'll ask about Junkers, because I am new to the job. Junker headquarters was set up a year ago by the police as a special task force to combat the Snatch problem. Junker operations were officially started in August of this year. We answer directly to the government's intelligence agencies. Okay. Oh, there's an option for Snatchers here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask that because I'll remember these ones easier. Snatchers. Yes, three years ago the Snatchers suddenly appeared here in Neo Kobe. We have no idea where they came from or what they want. We do know that they kill, copy the appearance of their victims, and then take their place in society. And that's their that their numbers are increasing. So what movie is that from where they touch you and take you on? Is it is it the blob? I can't remember. Okay, we go back and it was Junker's authority now. The Junker operates with a certain rules and privileges different from regular police officers. Those are, number one, serve the public trust. No, sorry, wrong film. The purpose of Junker Force is to eliminate bio ride snatchers. Number two, a Junker, even in the course of carrying out number one, must not harm innocent civilians. That, that's actually part of the Android code. Three, a subject may not be physically investigated or restrained unless irrefutable evidence exists that indicates the subject is indeed a snatcher. Number four, a junker is required to assist and support civilian bounty hunters. Number five, in order to carry out one, a junker is allowed the use of a blaster and a navigator and a turbo cycle. Those are the five rules. Okay, so next one. Okay, we're on duties, but we've this one's jumped up navigators, so we're going to ask about navigators, I think. It's a robot designed to assist junkers by performing all types of analysis. It's got a pretty good sensory setup, too. Okay, and we're on the last two of junker stuff, so junker duties. A junker's job is to figure out who the snatchers are and to eliminate them. Well, I could have told you that. I want you to put your special training in the military to good use and investigate those points about snatchers so that we don't yet understand we've got to put a stop to them. Okay, and then it's the last one, junker's staff. Junker's job is highly specialised and extremely dangerous. That's why there are so few of us. I'm the chief, Harry's the engineer, and then there's Mika Gibson, and you are our runners. It's just the five of us. Oh, wow. That should be enough to make your duties as a junker quite clear. This is your junker ID card. It will identify you as a junker. Carrying it allows you to exercise your special authority. I see. Sort of like a police officer's badge, huh? And uh, here's some money. It's not much, but you'll need it to carry out your investigation. Cash? Credit cards aren't accepted in some regions of the city. You'll need this sooner or later. Sounds like it's a rough place out there. Go see Harry, the engineer. He's got your equipment ready for you. Okay, cool. So you said go see Harry. I think he was the engineer, but it's next in the list anyway, so... This is engineering. All the junkers, that is the runner's equipment, are made here. Hmm. Doesn't look like Harry's around at the moment. Okay. There's tools and machines all over the place. It's a regular factory in here. This room always looks like this. I don't know how he finds anything. Harry Benson is our engineer. He's a bit of a lush, but he's a friendly and sweet old guy. Every Junker investigator gets an analysis robot. Quite a combination there. We call the robots navigators. His wife was killed by a snatcher two years ago. After that, he quit his detective job and became a Junker. 
Since then, he's been living with his daughter, Katrina. Okay, interesting. Uh, look. Oh no, we've already done a look, haven't we? Yeah. Okay, so we can exit. Where would you like to go next? I think we'll go to the detective's room. This is the detective's room. It's the office for our runners. That's what we call junker investigators like you. Bloody runners, not blade runners. I mean, I don't understand. <laughs> You'll be using that desk at the back. I don't know why they stole all this stuff and then they're just like, oh yeah, we, we, we can't call them androids. What about this desk near the door here? That's Jean's desk. Jean-Jacques Gibson. He's our race runner. Okay, I thought he was talking about Harry Gibson. Was it Harry Gibson? No. What was the name of my boss? I've forgotten the name. So Gibson's another runner. Okay. So we can work. Monitor. A lot of information flows into here. All the information available to our runners is output from John. Is that the place or a computer? Ah, bugger. Bugger, Desk. This is an antique desk. Jean's really into antiques. I bet he is. He's probably on good money. Far desk. Looks like a nice desk, but I probably won't be using it much. Okay. Area. This place is really different from other detectives' offices. Uh, maybe. I asked about Gibson. Gibson, he's apparently out on an investigation at the moment. I'll introduce you as soon as he gets back. And then there was his daughter as well. She's John's only child. She's turned 18 this year. Okay, and I think I asked about navigators. John's navigator is called Little John. I wonder what kind of navigator you'll get. Uh, let me just check Harry. Oh, God, this bloody... He's quite brilliant. He's won three Nobel Prizes and the Fields Prize too. Okay, cool. We'll exit. Um, computer room? This is Junkers headquarters computer room. It's linked to the database throughout the country so you can find almost any information you might need. Okay. Ask about computer. This is our host computer, model RM1013. We call it Jordan. Okay. That's for Junker Online Regional Data Access Network. It employs full-scale artificial intelligence based processors. Jordan is fully programmed with all human learning routines and uses an intelligent interface to perform automatic translation problem solving. You name it. It employs expert class artificial intelligence routines developed for fieldwork robots. It's the best there is. And how to use it. First, put your Junkers ID card in this slot. Once it's confirmed, you as a user, you just follow the instructions that Jordan flashes on the screen. Let's give it a go. Go ahead, sit down here. Once you're registered on the system, the rest is easy. I'm Jordan, Junker Headquarters Host AI Computer System. Please insert your ID card. What? Has this thing got a personality? Okay, Junker card going in. User confirmed as Gillian Seed. Welcome to Jordan. What sort of information do you need? Well, at least let me in. Okay, load an ID file. Jordan ID file. Use the cursor to input the name of the person you are searching for. Input first name and last name without a space. For example, John Konami. Or you can search with just the first of John. Okay, enter, let's try entering a name, just so we can see how it works. And no space, wasn't it? Okay. Can I execute request? Ah, okay, to view this data, okay. A, million, a minimum class 7 ID is necessary to open this data gate. Why can't I get at this data? ID file. What about fact file? Oh wow, so there's quite a lot of information there. Oh wow. 
Plans were made in late 20th century to develop space resources for the betterment of mankind, but global warming, the catastrophe and other factors which harmed the environment seeded this trend significantly. The construction of the US space station Freedom, as well as the development of successful fusion-based propulsion represented enormous steps forward. In this effort, I can't see where bloody full stops are. At present, a helium-3 mine to provide fuel and fusion rockets is under development on the moon. In addition, the new Promised Land project to create permanent colonies on Mars is in advanced stages. Wow, so I mean they're just taking everything um, from... You could look up a lot of stuff in here about the, the general story and everything, I think. Okay, we can exit here, I think, then. Can't remember where we had left to go to. Shooting range. This is the shooting range. Junkers come here to improve their marksmanship. Practice? Let's give it a whirl. Killian, you haven't got your blaster yet, have you? Let's hurry and go visit Harry. Come on, let's go see Harry. But I think I should get some practice in first. Yeah, but come on, let me take a crack at it. Alright, if you must. I'll let you use my grey gun, but it doesn't have the power of a blaster. Is that okay? Yeah, thanks Mika. If you press A button, you can draw your blaster. Press C to fire. Okay. You can put your blaster away by pressing the A button again. Are you ready? I hope so. The red gorge on the left shows the number of targets to appear, the yellow gorge on the right shows the number of hits. I'll start on an introductory level, thank god. Good luck. I've missed one. I did okay, I think. I missed a couple. I didn't hit any civilians, you're right. Your accuracy in history. Story of my life in a shooting game. Let's go see Harry. Okay, so let's exit. All we need to do is find Harry. Well, let's go back to his room. Oh, Here he good. is. Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're, uh, Gillian Seed, right? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't believe so. He's dressed like somebody from really? the Nostromo in well, Alien. I guess I must be imagining things. Like, is anything in this game not plagiarized? That's to work. Okay, so he said, what did he say? Have a look at stuff. Uh, ask? I suppose. But navigators, okay, yeah. Oh, blasters. I haven't got my blaster. I should ask about my blaster first, shouldn't I? Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. I got it right over here. This is your blaster, the official weapon of a junker. It's got full user feedback circuitry, adjusting itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Here, see how she feels. Oh yeah. I like it's that flash the bow. light. <laughs> you bet it is. This ain't one of those ray guns the army uses. She's put together with the latest carbon polymers and ceramics, not affected by heat one bit. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it. Uh, so I've asked about my blaster, should probably ask about navigators. I know, I know. All right, allow me to introduce the navigator, which I designed especially for you. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here. Oh, that's where the me name Metal Gear came from. 
And that looks like something from bloody... I've forgotten the name of that movie, with a square robot. Oh, but it's a midget version. But yeah, that's stolen from that space film. Metal, introduce yourself. Yes, sir. With Pleased to meet you, Gillian. I am Metal Gear Mach 2. I think the robots are called Huey Dewey and Louie or something. Metal Gear? That's a pretty weird name. Oh, he's cute. Uh, thank you. I think he's turning red. I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. But uh, quite unlike that Metal Gear, this one was designed for peaceful purposes. So I think it's supposed to be based on Ed 209 then, by the sounds of the way he put it there. The Menace of the 20th century. Okay, and uh, maybe ask him about Snatchers now? You're an engineer. Tell me about how the Snatchers are built. It's odd, but we've never been able to get a specimen. They're always stolen or have self-destructed. They have any weaknesses? They're built really well, so it's tough to destroy them outright. Try to immobilize them. They've got these slits on their head for some reason. A well put they shot there will often destroy their control functions. That's why it's important to practice your marksmanship. Okay. Uh, so... Even with everything I know, I could never build a monster like that. Is this one even with everything? No. Okay. Sometimes you have to uh, you have to ask for stuff to go on. So I'm not going to read through some of this because I'm looking around. I'm looking at people, and it's Madonna on the wall, by the way. <laughs> Just if you weren't sure. Okay. Oh, cool. This is it's changed since I last looked. Post, uh, uh, photo. This is the picture that was on the wall. It's a photograph of a small boy. That's a picture of me as a kid. That's my only child memory of my childhood. Oh, okay. It looks like some kind of child's toy. A toy? I'd be interested to see what kind of toys you had as a kid. Yeah, but he's kind of cute. So I think we've outlooked ourselves, so we could investigate some things. Uh, we can investigate the photo. This appears to have been cut out of a larger photo. Okay, let's investigate Metal Gear. Full bipedal motion system, eh? I don't want anything that's going to slow me down. I wasn't built for running, but in case of emergency. Yeah, in case of emergency, what? Carry me while you run. <laughs> you can't be serious. Tell me you're not serious. That's pretty cool. And okay, so I think we've. Wait, didn't mean to do that. Uh, ask? Maybe about Metal Gear? Navigate is designed from the start as Junkers investigates. Assistant on site detection analysis, recording communications with. You name it. They're packed with features, and Metal Gear here is the latest model. What about an attack system? Don't they carry any weapons? Afraid not. They're unarmed. After all, the main idea behind a navigator is to assist in the investigation it's data management. Hey, how are you doing, Dave? Does it? I actually, I really haven't played, I played one Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation 1. So I wouldn't notice the difference, but thanks for telling me. <laughs> but they do have a save function. Ah! Just choose the Use Metal Gear command, and then the save command. You can record the exact status of your investigation that way. In the same way, you can use the Use Light command to help when it's too dark to see. I told you they were nice to have around, didn't I? How about communications? Does he have some type of radio? Yep, there's a video phone installed. Well, a video phone? That's right. Just select Use Metal Gear and then use Video Phone to access it. In theory, you can use it anywhere, but you have to watch out for interference. Sometimes the signal just can't get through. I have a video phone call from Jean-Jacques Gibson coming in. Connecting. Junker HQ, this is Gibson. I've cornered a probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M District. Request immediate backup. Gillian, that means you. You better head out right away. Jean needs your help. We must hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel to the scene. Be careful, Gillian. 
This music is kick-ass. This is a turbo cycle, <laughs> specially designed for jumper use. In addition to three-wheeled ground travel, it is capable of hovering and high-speed flight. The vehicle is also VTOL capable, so takeoffs and landings in narrow areas present no difficulty. A flying tricycle, huh? Yeah, we, we just came in on one of these we things. We didn't steal it from Blade We've Runner. We this swear. for use in our investigations. Right, I'm going to use Metal Gear to save because, by the sound of the music, this is getting serious. Ah, oh, it's okay because that was only my test save before. Continue game. All right, now return to the investigation. Right, so, uh, maybe look, turbo cycle, it's brand new and it was just tuned up, it's a 47 interceptor, it's built by the same company that builds the shuttle, on the ground it runs on three wheels but they're attracted <laughs> during flight, well, that's interesting. This is the Junker HQ parking lot, several turbo cycles are parked in, the air, in this area, okay. Built with the latest ceramoplastics and carbon polymers. It doesn't even have a scratch on it. That's what you want. There's no problem. The tyres also have the inspector's stamp on them. I'm just checking. There's nobody in the parking lot besides us. Okay, let's enter the turbo cycle. How are you doing, Dave, by the way? Hope everything's good with you. We're in the turbo cycle. Operation is compute controlled. Where would you like to go? Uh, factory ruins. Now departing for the abandoned factory. Oh, kick ass music again. That screen looks a bit like Star Wars. Now my first day on the job, and now this. Ace Junker Gibson is corner of the suspected snatcher. I wonder if this guy really is a snatcher. Guess I'll find out now if all that training really paid off. I wish I knew which button was for my gun. Not to shoot. I know the button to shoot, but I don't know the button to take my gun out. I've forgotten. What would you like to do? Get out. Barton Bike Night. Now is that an official thing or is that just where people do burnouts and donuts? We've arrived at the abandoned factory. This is where Jean called from. What's a uh, oh look? Building. It's a battered old factory judging from its design. I'd say it dates from the period when man production techniques were still used. It appears abandoned. The sky is getting quite dark. It looks like a storm may be coming in. Area. This place is quite run down. It looks deserted too. It's just a bit... It doesn't need any atmosphere about it. Uh, okay. Let's try one more time. Oh, okay. So it must be investigate. Investigate motion. Metal, are you reading anything? I can't tell from here. We'll have to move inside. There's no sign that anybody's around, okay. The building's heavily damaged, it's probably been abandoned since the last century. Oh no! What was that? A male scream. Perhaps something has happened to Jean-Jacques. Gillian, please use extreme caution. I read multiple moving objects within the factory. This could indicate the presence of snatchers or insectors. Insectors? What in the world's that? A spider-like robot used by Snatchers as security devices. Though Hang on, that was taken from another 80s film. Needles! needles. Caution. <laughs> this game is a 100% rip-off of everything. So there was a film in the 80s uh, called Runaway with Tom Selleck and Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons played the best psychopath ever in it. And specifically in it were these robots with needles on them which would inject acid into you. 
Oh, hellfire memories, those. Uh, 970, Oh, come on. This actual, if you, if you, at the end, Della's car, if you, if you go right back to the beginning, you'll hear the elevator music. Right, let's enter. I think it's time to enter. Shit in my pants, though. Alright, we're going in. Keep your blaster ready. I would if I knew which button it was to... It says push the A button, but I'm on a J Xbox pad because I'm not playing with a Sega pad. You may want to save frequently. Yes, I may want to save frequently. You might be right. I might save to stop us going through that scream again. This is the spot where he placed that video phone call. Okay, so I'm going to use Metal Gear Solid again. Whoop. I wasn't... I didn't mean to do that. Snow 9. It's a bio-engineered form of pollen which interferes with radio transmissions. Right. Right. I want to continue. Right, returning to the investigation. Okay. Let's move. Advance. What the? It's Little John. Little John? Yes, Jean Jacques Gibson's personal navigator. Oh my, Little John's been demolished. There's no way to repair damage this bad. Okay. Maybe investigate him, no? The charring indicates he was hit by fire from a blaster cannon. Nearly all of his circuits are burned completely through. His functions have been completely terminated. Nevertheless, his memory may be all or partially intact. Where is Gibson? A navigator never leaves his run aside unless there is a very serious reason. We have to hurry. Gibson's in trouble. Okay, so can we use Metal Gear to do anything here? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, where were we up to? Investigate. Okay, here we go. Little John's memory chip. Well, what do you think? Can you get this memory chip out of there in one piece? I will attempt it. Now retrieving memory chip. Memory chip retrieved. Okay, now I think this said Metal Gear can do analysis. There we go. Okay, little memory. I'm afraid I cannot analyze another investig navigator's memory. We have to go back to the headquarters to process it. Let's just hope there's something left. Huh. Okay, this is no good. Um, let's listen, maybe? What about his... Uh, oh no, it's not letting me do it. Ah, oh, the voice acting's good, Elasgar. Advance. Moving ahead. Okay. There's something here. Moving ahead. Ooh, there's a body. Wait, there's a figure lying on the car on the floor. Lovely. Oh, dear God. Jean! Gibson, it's Gibson. My God, his head's been twisted completely off. Right, okay, so. I would guess that we need to investigate him. Uh, we'll investigate the corpse. He's still warm. That scream heard was no doubt his. What killed him? His head's been twisted off. He died instantly. It would take incredible strength to do this. 
Look, John's holding something in his right hand. doing the same thing sometimes because I, I remember when I played it years ago I'd select something once and then not select it again and then I didn't understand why the game never went ahead which is why sometimes I go through other ones so we investigated uh, we'll do his clothing there's a key in one of his pockets okay good there's a scrap of paper search the house Ooh. Okay, that's fine. Gibson, right hand. It's hair. He's holding several strands of hair. In addition, there is skin tissue under his nails. Probably from him scratching his attacker. Right, okay, so we've got a few things to check on here. So now it's disappeared, you see? Now analyzing recovered tissue sample. Analysis complete. Results on the display. 1. Enzyme antibody analysis indicates subject as blood type O, Rh factor negative. 2. Chromosomal analysis of cells in the sample reveal 46XX. Subject is female. 3. Cell component distribution indicates presence of artificial protein compounds. Maybe there's more than one snatcher involved, Gibson said I've cornered a probable male snatcher. Mm, okay. Check it again. I'm just doing that so it disappears. Now making incision in John's stomach to analyze organic compounds present. This music is kick ass. I don't know of anywhere where old keys like this are still used. Hmm. What is this key for? I don't know of some anywhere where old keys like this are used. I'll just try one more time just to make sure. Okay. So that, that one's not going to disappear. It's written on ordinary paper. Okay. And then motion detector. Right, okay, so. Thing. 
Is there anything left to investigate? It says mo motion detector, but... Okay, listen. Look, maybe? Corpse. Look. Key? Metal, hang on to this key as evidence, okay? Okay, so... That's that's what I needed to do with that, and he's probably going to do the same here. What is that supposed to mean? Who knows? This could be John's last words. Metal, keep this as evidence. Okay, so it's really important to look at some of these things as well. I'm reading movement. Oh, tell us, Gar. That's how he runs. Right, there was two of them. Snatchers. Unable to confirm. I suggest we investigate. dead end? Then where did the two snatchers go? I'm not picking up any sounds. Are you sure? Okay. Look, front. It's blocked by a cave-in. We can't go any further. Okay. Investigate, front. I don't see any way out from here. Are you okay, Gillian? That's weird, I was fine until a moment ago. What's wrong, Mel? Maybe it's the sensory defect, but I think I'm picking a sound off in the distance. Can you hear it, Gillian? That's odd, seems like my ears are going out on me. Maybe it's due to a change in air pressure. Maybe you should shut your mouth. Okay, so, uh, let's see if we can get anything on the motion detector, maybe? Anything on your sensors? No, okay. Investigate dirt and sand. There's no way it could possibly move out of the way. They definitely headed in this direction, didn't they? Hmm. Maybe exit? Oh. Retreat, okay. I can hear something. I can't hear a thing. Quiet there, can you hear it? Let's go back. Let's go. Yeah, they're saying... <laughs> Something like a timer. Turn up the volume on your TV in order to hear it better. Hmm, I'm picking up something from the direction of Little John. I thought Little John's functions were totally dead. Um, hello, Kathina. Welcome in. Uh, don't say that. I used to live in fear for many years because I didn't know who Maggie Thatcher was, but my mum always said it before I went to get a bottle of milk from the shop. I like the acting there. Right, let's quickly use Metal Gear to save because it's told me to. Yeah, I think this was his first game, I think. Might not have been his first first game. But yeah, it's it's made it was by him. You don't know about this game. It's like the cyberpunk game. <laughs> Before anything else. In computer games I mean. It um everything's stolen from movies, but uh it's good. Continue game. Okay. So maybe we should get out, because there's a bomb on it. Oh no, movement detector, that's no good. Insectors, use your blaster. Press the A button, I love it. Okay, I did rip. Wait, I forgot that I, I forgot that I didn't have... Uh... Oh, 
nailed that one. That was class. Gillian, are you all right? They hit me once, but I'll survive. Oh yeah, they did hit me once. I thought I was perfect there. Dang, name it. Injecting junkers, blood fluid supplement, and painkillers. Finally, some nano machines, healing agents. Ouch! Oh, hang on, people are talking. Let me have a quick read. So I was going morning about something. Run, Miss K. Yeah, no, no, I remember it. They stopped. They stopped giving us free milk. It stopped just before I started school. Um, I think my sister was like the final year of it or something. And then, um, <clears throat> uh, but then my because of that, I didn't know. My mum used to say, "Maggie Thatcher, don't." Well, it wasn't Maggie Thatcher milk snatch. She should say, "Go get us a bottle of milk from the corner shop and look out for Maggie Thatcher because she'll steal it." So I used to sprint to the shop and sprint back thinking there was some girl ready to jump me for it. Because she was a Stanley Kubrick of games, no one can understand what the hell it's about. Oh, this one you can because he basically stole everything from, uh, from um, uh, Blade Runner and then just added a few other bits from 80s movies. That should be sufficient for the time being. That was close. Could have been more careful. Okay, so I think we should get out of here, shouldn't we? We're getting out of here! Sorry, I cannot go with you! What's wrong with you? Hurry it up! I am incapable of locomotion! What on earth are you blabbering about? Let's go! It's gonna blow! Please save yourself! I am paralyzed with fear! <laughs> turned up. <laughs> there is no need for concern. I have stored all the That's information why I didn't about turn the, the volume up. and the area in my memory. We should return to Junker headquarters. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing that's what we're doing. Is it automatic or do we have to do it? We've returned to Junker headquarters. Ooh, that was some first day. Now entering the building. We've entered the lobby. I grew up in Yorkshire, Alaskar. I heard Where men are men and so are the women. I am sorry. I wish I could have done more. You performed your duties quite satisfactorily. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the chief is waiting for you. This is the chief's office. Well, see, that was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. Down you two. made a great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so I know all about what happened out there. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this Snatcher menace. What happened there? Now, yesterday, um, in my recent search to try and get rid of this edema that I'm suffering from, pretty badly actually, it's been months now, I think I'm, I'm approaching four months of it, um, I went for the first time to uh, one of these flotation tanks, or step, uh, I can't remember the other name they have, but where you have this kind of salt water inside and stuff. I had a go of it. If you've never done it before, I highly recommend it. It did nothing for my edema. <laughs> but it was a nice experience. I spent an hour in there and... Um, and yeah, it was strange. But a really good experience. Okay. 
Okay, let's go to the... I knew these pop-ups were going to annoy me all day. We're going to move... I think we'll go to the engineering room. Because there was a memory chip that needed looking at. I've already checked in with nanomachines. They will have him back in full strength in no time. That's it, sensory deprivation tech, yeah. If you've never done it, I'd definitely have a go at it. It was very strange. And I also had a go with these kind of trippy glasses, which you put these glasses on them and, and, and the headphones and closed your eyes and the glasses kind of flashed music, uh, flashed music, flashed different colours connected to the audio. And that was actually more fun than I thought as well. But again, that had nothing to do with it. So, yeah, the guy the guy who owns the place was saying to me, just give in to it and go with it. I had no problem with it. Like, I had zero problem with it. My hour passed really fast. I was very, very kind of happy in there. Um, it was very strange, but I enjoyed it. But I have been told people have had a really hard time in them sometimes, like they really don't like it. Well, so our new junker has returned. Oh dear. <laughs> I register high alcohol levels. Harry <laughs> is intoxicated. I really... You know, I really thought you were better than that. <laughs> Harry, what kind of backup was that supposed to be? If you were a better junker than that, Jean... Jean wouldn't have had to die out there. Harry, that statement is incorrect. Don't worry about it, Metal. Harry's right. Jean... <laughs> Sorry, it's... it's not your fault. <laughs> Metal, would you give Harry the memory chip we pulled out of Little John? Of course. Harry, this is Little John's memory chip. The only part I didn't like about Cathina is I have, uh, but it's a very little thing, I have uh, vertigo. So when I first got in and laid down and turned the lights out, well, when it closed and the lights were out and everything, it started to feel like I was spinning and I was really worried that it would just continue to feel like I was spinning but it didn't, it settled after I don't know, after 20 or 30 seconds um, it settled itself out which was good right, so let's uh, have a look at Harry he's been drinking quite heavily he still has a brandy bottle in his hand <laughs> Okay, just have another look at him. He's been drinking. Okay, I read large concentrations of syn synthanol. Okay, so I'm guessing we can't have alcohol in the future. Hiccup. Let's try it again until we run out of stuff. He's been drinking. Uh, okay, now it's run out. Okay. Uh, well, we've looked at the poster of Madonna. Okay. Um. What's the other lock? Poster, photo, no, we don't need any of those. Investigate Harry, I suppose. Hey, don't touch me. Okay. Let's try it. yeah, okay. Okay. Brandy bottle, maybe? I thought that Harry only drank Japanese sake. What's this brandy? Hmm. What's this? There are numbers written on the label. It says 395644. It does not appear to be a date of any kind. Okay. Ask. Forget about work. Forget about work, Gillian. Gillian, I just can't get in the mood for that kind of thing right now. Well, imagine being able to drink on the job. No, it's not that one. Investigate. Evidence, maybe? No. Investigate. No. I thought maybe I can look. Evidence. No. How do we do this? 
Metal Gear. No, it's not in Metal Gear. Look. Okay. Ow. So, I don't think there's anything else in here. Oops. Keep running through it, but I, I don't think there's anything in here. Uh, let's go to the detective's room to look at our evidence and whatnot. Okay, one second, I'm just looking at messages. Drunk Chuck Norris. Yeah, that was the, um... Oh, you've got an Xbox. Oh, I think we might have talked about it this last time, actually. I use Game Pass for a few things, but I, I think it's it maybe getting better than it was. Um, there's a couple of games I use off it. You'll be able to play Flight Simulator. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at this detective's room. We should investigate John's personal items. We must learn what he was doing before he was killed. I see. Basic detective work. <laughs> okay. So probably investigate then. So we have the near desk. It's an old star. Draws and star. Okay, so there's not, nothing there. Really there. Oh yeah, there is there's a desk drawer. Let's try his locker first before we do the desk. There's a coat hanging inside. Yeah, that's Rick Deckard's coat. Coat. Check the pockets of the coat for me, will you? Alright. A chest piece was in the coat. Wow. Okay. Investigate. Chest piece. It's a chest piece made of wood. Okay. Look. Chest piece. It's a chest piece. This could mean something. Metal, let's hang on to it as evidence. Alright, I'll store it as evidence. Make sure there's nothing else. Coat, maybe? Just like the coat I got, but a little bigger. It's really worn out though, so you don't have to uh, hold on to it. Hey Brian, how's it going? Welcome into the stream. Yeah, it is. I remember, like, it's it's 100 gigabytes minimum or something. Even on the Xbox. Or is it 78 gigabytes or something on the Xbox? Okay, let's investigate the near desk. Was it? Or desk drawer? Desk drawer, no? Ah, I cannot open it, but guess, we've got a key. That's why I just got that little sound. So, possessions. Use. Key. <laughs> Intelligente. Capsules. Okay. And a disc. Okay, let's investigate those. It's a five inch floppy. Yeah, not like mine. A five inch disc. Nobody uses those things. <laughs> this is all he keeps saying. Nobody uses those things anymore. Capture. What kind of medicine is this? I'll perform an analysis. Acid inhibitors, membrane protecting agents, H2 blockers. This is medication for an ulcer. Jeez. It looks like Jean's stomach was really in terrible shape. Then what was he doing eating buffalo? That seems a little unusual. Oh yeah, he was eating buffalo, Perhaps wasn't he? there was some reason that he had to eat buffalo. Okay, so, um... Let's just look at those two pieces of evidence. Okay, so he's putting in evidence, and I'll look at the uh, capsule as well. Okay. Right, I think we need to find out where he ate buffalo. So I think maybe go to the computer room. hundred and thirty one, okay. Woof. Well. But it looks so nice on the on the Xbox Series X. It'll look amazing, I'm sure. Uh, okay, so we need to use the Jordan system, so 
I think. Yeah. So we need to use Jordan. Insert an ID card. Do you need? And we need a fact file, I think. Oh no, because these are all standard. Alright, so we'll try an ID file, see if anything comes up. So, B, U, oh. B, U, F, F, A, A, L, O, D, O, Buffalo. I think that's how it's spelled. Follow up. No, I'm getting that thing where you stare at something and you're like, I don't know. Is it? I think it is. No matching names on file. Dang it. Well, yeah. I didn't really want that. I just want some information. Okay, so there's obviously nothing on here for it. Okay, so maybe move... I have absolutely no idea. We go at the front, see if we have any messages or something, but... You can't stay depressed over these things forever. I've heard you were hurt. Are you alright? Is it getting better? Yes, those nanomachines are really doing the trick. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Physically I'm fine, but my heart's still in great pain. <laughs> I know what you mean, Gillian. Suck me dick. Right, okay. Uh, ask, maybe? Ask about a buffalo restaurant. Okay, buffalo. I've never even heard of any places that serve that. Okay. Hmm. It was on there. Oh, that's right. Napoleon might not. Ah, okay. Who's Napoleon? Where's Napoleon? Okay. That Chinese informant John was using. He's known him ever since he was a science cop. Okay, let's just try that again and see if it gives anything extra. Well, I've heard about him, but I've never met him. Why don't you track him down? After all, it's about John. He must have left some kind of clue, a video phone number or something. Hmm. I've forgotten his name already. Napoleon. Okay, let's see if we can use the video phone, because she said use the video phone, but we might need to go to the computer room. Oh no, looks like it might work. Call. Oh, I don't know. Ah! No. There was the number on the thing, wasn't there? Um. Oh, no. It was three... Oh, I've done the number wrong anyway. Right. Not in service. The number you have reached is not in service at this time. All right, I have Please to. I have to go. I have to go out with this. This is a recording. J T N T Neo Kobe. Is that Battlestar Galactica? Do you mean, Brian? How do I get out of this? Don't go. Okay. So I need to look at some evidence that I've got. Look. No, maybe it's not look. It's uh, possessions. Look. Evidence. No, it wasn't that. Uh, do something. No. Dang it. It's, it's, um... I think I'm going to have to go back and see Harry there was a number on his phone wasn't there uh, on his bottle and it, it was a bottle of brandy and Napoleon is a famous type of brandy so the engineering room let's try it one more time sniff sniff stops investigate 
Randy Ball. All right, there's numbers written on the label. Three nine five six four four. Three nine five six four four. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, three nine five six four four. I'm terrible remember numbers. Can somebody write it? Three nine five six four four. 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 Are you? Mom? I'm an acquaintance of Gibson. I need some information. You an investigator too, huh? Can't trust them. All right, let's have the password. The password? No password. Um. Well, let's think about it. The revolution. Revolution. I don't know. The revolution. isn't easy sometimes. Oh, Ooh, you're close, it's almost sad. Uh, dang it. Right, uh... Now what am I going to do? No, I don't need to ask for the number. Go back to the computer and maybe put Napoleon in it this time. Oh, what did he say? The revolution? Did he say the revolution? Great, I need to write some things down because I'm gonna I'm not good enough to <sighs> to remember this type of stuff. Um use. Sorry, I've missed some of the messages. Uh, stop typing silly numbers. <laughs> uh, Battlestar Galactic, okay. I know it, but I haven't played it. Is it uh, like a flying game, or is it uh, like a top-down one of those worlds, one of those word game type things. Yeah, Far Cry 5. I, I didn't mind it, but it was a bit weird. Right, use card, right. What am I looking for? Napoleon, Anna. Uh, I think I'll have to search. Name? Napoleon Bonaparte. S 
1769 to 1821, aka Napoleon the First, aka the Little Carpal, Emperor of the French, a brilliant military strategist. He deposed the French Directory in 1799 and proclaimed himself the first council, saying the famous line, "The revolution is ended." Okay, is ended. Because he said the revolution and then is ended and I said is over and he said you were very close okay so is ended that's what I need later he proclaims himself Emperor his military and political might gripped continental Europe but failed to encompass Great Britain okay See the guy trying to play the role, isn't he? He's ended, no? I hope it is, because I've bloody forgotten. Hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna double check it because I'm bloody sure it's is over, is ended. It is ended. It is, it, it is his ending, but I just want to make sure not to jump past it too fast either. The revolution is ended. Okay. Is ended. Is ended. Okay. Is ended. Is ended. This is harder than some of the... Some of the... Can I not just use Metal Gear from here, actually? Is ended. Is ended. 395644. Four. He's ended. Why don't we get the password out for the hundred day? The hundred day. Oh, for God's sake, it's he's changed it. Was it hundred re hundred day rain? The hundred day. I think I think I remember say, saying rain, but I thought it was a hundred year rain. Okay, I think I think it was. Okay, yeah, he wants to meet at Alton Plaza in the EXG district. I'll see you there. So he will. <sighs> That was hard. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's have a look. Is it like you've never played Eve? Okay. You've never played Eve, Brian? I thought you had. Uh, when did you get your booze bit off by a badger? Are we talking about in a game? Or, or is this just stuff, you kick shits and giggles in the woods? Napoleon was a Putin of a day. Uh, uh, no, Putin went into battle. Um, not like Eve then. I kind of think he would like Eve. Uh, he might, Brian. I know he liked the. They would liked another one where you had to build ships and everything. Yeah, maybe I was thinking of the Hundred Year War. I, I got it anyway. Uh, hundred Day Rain. I thought he was in charge for more than Hundred Days. Right. What are we doing? Don't call. What are we doing? I think I've forgotten what we're doing. Let's leave. Let's go up the front. Move. 
turbo cycle maybe? Mika, I'm heading out to check on a few things. I've got a couple of leads. Really? Don't worry yourself off a John, okay? Thanks, Mika. Gillian? Yes, Mika. How are you and your wife doing? Because I want to suck that lolly. I, I haven't talked to in a while. Not even on the video phone? No. You shouldn't leave her alone like that. That's right, come to think of it, I've written her home phone number down. I have her number written down at home. Okay, I bet she's pretty lonely. I'm sure you're right, thanks. Be careful, Gillian. Right. Where would we like to go? I should go to my house, actually, Gillian's apartment. We don't have to meet that guy straight off, and I can get this phone number, can't I? And maybe we should go to Gillian's house as well before we meet this other guy. So we might be able to investigate stuff in his house. This is your apartment building, Gillian. Very nice. Wow, you mean I have a place to live too? Please tone it down, Gillian. I know you've lost your memory, but isn't that carrying the act a bit too far? <laughs> Just trying to make things a little more fun for the folks playing the game. Okay, move. Go inside. This is your living room. Oh, very nice. Looks better than uh, Deckard's. For a widower, the room seems rather tidy. I'm quite impressed. Don't you ever shut up? Are you programmed to evaluate my personal life too? My duty is to spot you and observe that you are properly carrying out your responsibilities as a junker. Some observer? You mean informer, right? Well, one could put it that way. Okay, so I will look at everything and invest investigate. I see nothing I do here. Well, yes, I'm sorry I lead such an ordinary life. I'm just going to do this until you get the double. Okay, so there we go. Shelf. There's, there is a photograph on the shelf. Yes, that's a very special picture for me. It's just... There's nothing else on the shelf. Okay, good. Area. There's a single sofa bed. Overall, a rather spartan and bland room. Hey, I haven't had time to go shopping yet, alright? He didn't even know we had a flat a minute ago. Just the right amount of space for someone living alone. Try one more. Okay, that's doubled up now. Photo. It's a p picture of Jamie. Ah, yes, the wife. You are you are separated from. She's very attractive. Come to think of it, I wrote Jamie's video phone number on the back of a picture. Well, there's another retro, uh, retro game I can play sometime. It's a bit more modern, but the graphics are a bit crapper. But it's, uh, it's very good. Investigate around the room. No interest in women. That's most unfortunate. You shut up. I can't believe I'm hearing this from a robot. Ah yes, I sense the sorrow of the lonely man. <laughs> Still, there must be some reason why this fellow is living alone, even though he's over 30 years old. Well, that's not very fair. I'll take that personally. This will work out just fine. You're going to be doing the housework from here on out. What did you say? Something? What a wonderful apartment you have here. <laughs> Ah, yes. Oh, okay, so now it's repeating. Good. Okay. I read no motion. There is nothing here besides us. Of course it is. It's my apartment. I lead a very dreary life. Okay, good. Oh, no, that wasn't... Okay. Now we can go to photo. There's some numbers written on the back. Right, okay. 393444. Okay. Try to remember that number, people. Three nine three four four four. Okay. Three nine three four four four. Three nine three four four four. Three nine three four four four. Okay, we're cooking on gas. She's not answering. Oh, yes, she is. Hi, Jamie speaking. Oh, Gillian, how are you? Mm -hmm. Okay, 
talk. Your feelings. Jamie, I'm not sure how to say this, but I really want to make up with you. I want to try again. Please don't say that, Gillian, right now. I think the two of us are better off apart. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I don't care if my memory comes back or not. I just want a second chance with you, Jamie. Gillian, I'm just so sick of our hurting each other. Memories are important for any couple. I can't handle a life of lies. Jamie, we can make our own memories together. Oh, wait, Gillian, I don't know about this right now. Okay, I think I might run out. Yeah, okay. Uh, talk. Your job? Looks like this chunk of business is more dangerous than I thought it would be, Gillian. But it's still not as bad as boot camp. I'm a lot more relaxed working like this as a junker. Aren't you pushing yourself too hard? Well, it's pretty scary sometimes, but now I've got a de definitive goal, something to live for. Oh, by the way, yesterday, uh, when I was in Barcelona, not only did I have the uh, floating tank experience, I also had uh, Popeye's Chicken. Finally, a Popeye's Chicken restaurant has arrived in Barcelona. Apart from it doesn't really have anything else but the chicken. It doesn't have any of the side stuff that you get in an American one, but it's still pretty good. I'm sorry, it was really hard for me to try and tell you. That's alright. Besides, we live near each other. We can meet any time. Call me if anything comes up. You know, I figured this out after becoming a junker. There's a snatch inside every one of us. I think it's our own doubts and suspicions which create them. You may be right, if we all just trusted one another we could probably drive them out. Of course, trust in itself breeds suspicion. Junkers shouldn't let themselves get so emotional. I suppose you're right. See if it does the same thing. Take care, Gillian. Okay. Talk. It's gonna say, take care, Gillian. Uh, I've gotta get off the phone, Gillian. I'm meeting some cock from Tinder. Like Snatcher. Jamie, you should probably stay indoors at night. That's when Snatch is the most active. It's dangerous. I'll be fine, Gillian. Why would they ever go after me? They only want VIPs, right? I never heard that kind of talk from anybody else. Never seen one of those things either. Trust me, there are Snatchers in this city. You just don't notice them. That's their plan. That's really frightening if you... If what you say is true, then you can't trust anybody, can you? It would be even worse than the STBO scare. They exist, jo Jamie, that's why I'm a junker, like I said. Okay, we're done with that. So I can ask her some things. So how are you doing? I'm getting by all right. How about you, Gillian? Are you eating properly? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I miss your great paschetti, though. Paschetti? Oh, that's cute. You still call it that. Same as always, keep myself busy so the loneliness doesn't have time to sink in. Staying busy at work really helps me. The days pass quickly that way. Okay, so there we go. We're out of that one. I'm heading out right now, so I have to hang up. No, don't hang up! I wanted to ask you some questions. I'll call her again. I can't remember a number. Three, three, nine, three, four, four, four. Not going to answer this term, is she? Gonna say not in service. I pressed the wrong button. In service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JTT Neo Kobe. Yeah, I was gonna say earlier, I was really surprised that uh, it's been 10 days since I. Uh, sorry, I missed your message, Alice I don't know why it didn't pop up. No biscuits. Oh, they had biscuits, but they were terrible. Nothing like your version. Mashed potatoes, no. Red beans, no. Collards, no. No, no sweet tea. Nothing from the one in America. It, it's shockingly... 
sterile in that way it was literally just the chicken you could get some sides but they they were your average size fries and, and other stuff to be honest with you i think it's just the people in spain maybe particularly catalonia i don't know why there's music coming from outside if that music's coming over me too much tell me so i can go tell them to shut the fuck up i'm sick of the people around here they all just do what they want Right, don't go. Okay, so, uh, look. Now we did that. We investigated everything, I think. Yeah, okay, possessions, we don't need to. So we could move forward. Into the bathroom. Why are we in the bathroom? Just looking around. It's a standard bathroom, low cost energy conserving, unit type sink and shower has been installed. Low cost, well excuse me. Okay. Sink. There's a bottle of perfume and a razor. There's a small sterilizing unit and hand dryer. Okay, done that part. Bathroom. This toilet has the latest health pot. Trademark. Physical fitness analyzer installed. You take a shit and it tells you how fit you are. Uh, bathroom, no. Sink. Bathroom, no. Okay. It's Jamie's favorite perfume. It's almost as if her scent still lingers in the air. What's she been doing back here? You've got good taste in women. Yes, it's the first time we've agreed on anything. Perhaps. Of course, my taste in women was programmed from your personal data. If that's true, then you should understand what I'm going through right now. What's wrong, Mel? I just couldn't help but be overcome by how miserable your life is. Jeez, you and I are definitely not on the same wavelength. Razor. It's the latest micro laser feather type. Gillian, why don't you try shaving? Okay, uh, investigate. Yes, we can just do it. Separate shower next to the bathtub. Investigate. Separate shower, okay. okay look at the bathroom. Oh, okay. Oh no, so it measures your pulse, urine, and stool to create an instant profile of your current, current physical fitness level. Okay, so, uh, perfume. La smell d'amour. Okay, uh, razor. Right, I'm gonna do something, try, uh, using the bathroom. You can't really call it That's the thing. You are a healthy guy. What's wrong? The nano machines are injected in you. What happened? They go sailing right on through? What a waste. Those things are very expensive, you know? Hey, what can you do? What goes in must come out. Ah, ignorance is truly bliss. Okay, and then shave. Hey, I think I'll shave. A moment. I just want to check what's going on outside my apartment. Because it sounds like they're having another bloody party. They seem to have one every week. Okay, one second.
No, it's my upstairs neighbours and they're bloody weird. Right, okay. Right, I'm just gonna take a quick toilet break, people. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, I've had this edema for a few months. I've been trying to get rid of it. The doctors don't seem to want to help. The only thing they want to do is give me water pills, which just don't work. They help a little bit, but they don't hurt in the long run. It seems to come back. So, um, the... I don't know what the course of action is to get rid of it. I, d I have started doing exercise because I can do exercise now with it. It's not that painful. And even if it is, the exercise seems to help it slightly. So I have started walking. The, the first time I went for a walk, I just went for a few hours. Last week I did much longer. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to go for another walk as well. And then in a few weeks, well, a few weeks, maybe two or three weeks, I'll be going on holiday to Andorra. So I'll be doing... Uh, some walks there. Uh. I might upload a video of some some of my walks because some of them are just beautiful. Um, I only <laughs> try to lure your cats. <sighs> no, but they do. They've dropped cigarettes, lit cigarettes down recently. Of course, but here comes when does she turn you down? Wait a minute. Maybe I should let my beard grow a bit. Look at. Look a little scraggly and try to appeal to her motherly instincts. You'll just get yourself into trouble. So I did want to talk about my lack of streaming. I'm really sorry, actually, because it's not for the want of doing it. Um, it's just some days, very recently, have been super hot. And... It, it, uh, to be in that this type of heat, because the house is hot as well. The house is like 34 degrees some of these days. Like, my room at the moment, what does it say? Yeah, 31 at the moment in my room, which is, is... I can handle it, but sometimes it just makes you really tired. When it gets like around 34, it just makes you really tired. And so quite often when it gets to the end of the day, I really start shutting down. And I actually went to bed at like 10.30 last night, but I had a long day. I'd got up early and, and done some things. But uh, like I said before, I do want to stream this month, so... Um, do look out for me going live at times, because, uh... And a blue with head. Oh, I thought you were on about, uh, that other movie. Is that what they call them in Star Trek? No, it's a beautiful country. I was just looking at an apartment, an apartment for 12 days, an apartment. For 12 days, 730 euros. For 12 days, a whole apartment I could have to myself. Three bedrooms. <laughs> Switch beds every second night. It's interesting. Right, okay, let's get back into this. Um, let's exit, because I think I've... I think I've done everything. Smell, maybe? Sniff, sniff. Oh, Jamie, okay. Right, okay, I think we can exit. This is your living room. So let's move and exit. So I think we're going to go to Gibson's house now. So I don't like that music. It doesn't fit. 
looking at the city. It should be a nice, soft song. Where would you like to go? We're going to go to Gibson's house. All right, now we're heading to Jean-Jacques Gibson's house. That doesn't look anything like the Star Wars targeter on the right-hand side, does it? We've arrived at Jean-Jacques Gibson's house. Oh, nice house. So let's look. It's a rather nice looking early American type home. It's a rather nice, okay, so it's doubled up. It does not appear to be auto tint glass. The interior is clearly visible. There's light coming from the windows. See, I don't like how it, it must be that there was a limit to the amount of text. So sometimes you have to read stuff twice. It's really annoying. The lots are zoned rather large out here. The next door neighbours are a good distance away. This is the northern part of the suburbs. There's quite a contrast between this and the southern district. There are lots of zones that are large out here. Okay, so it's repeating that part, but is it just good? Oh, it changed it. Right, and then one more with the area. Yeah, okay. It's done. So let's investigate the house. The door on the front is the main entrance. There does not appear to be a doorbell. How about if we try and knock it? I read motion. Someone is inside. Okay, good. On the area, the roads and sidewalks are well maintained. Okay, I think we can knock now, can't we? Katrina! Oh, look! Katrina! It's close to Katrina. <laughs> it could be you, it could be your character. Right, okay, let's have a look. Um, I had next girlfriend called Katrina. I should hate that name in theory. Knock. Talk. I just sat down at Junker's headquarters. My name's Killian Seed. Really? Are you really a Junker? If you are, then show me some proof. Proof? Your Junker ID, of course. Okay, yeah. I can do that. Uh, show Junker ID. Well, it looks genuine to me. I can't trust you with just that. Tell me how old my father is. If you're a real Junker, you'd know that. Gibson's age. How old is my father? <sighs> um, <sighs> I'm look. I was. I'm. I'm just thinking from the little flash you get of him. He looked like in the like fifties. So let's try fifty. And how do you enter it? That should be a right. That's true. I just say push the start Oh no, but I don't wanna go back all the way. We are, we didn't have access to him before. I'll try like 55 and then we'll give up. Oh! I got it right! Oh well, I was close. I was only five years out. Well, that saved me going back to Junkers headquarters, didn't it? Uh, one second. myself a nice drink because the one I've got is so getting warm. It's not very good on this one. Right, there's still not enough trust to you. Now I'm going to ask you something about myself. Blummin' heck. What is it with all these questions? You're damn bloody right. She knows 
should have access to Alpha 1, so that means there should be information on her in Jordan, right? She's a very smart girl. Uh, I have a unique mark on my body, what type of mark is it? Oh no, this is impossible. Uh, heart, let's see. Okay. Right, okay. No, I don't know. We'll have to go back to the bloody... I was lucky with the age, but I'm not going to get lucky with that one, am I? <sighs> right, Junker HQ. Let's try this. Right, uh, exit turbo set. I hate that you have to go. Th this is the only thing about old games. <laughs> it's the only bad thing. No, I had to come back, didn't I? Go to computer room. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. So, use Jordan. And use card. Right, so, ID file. Katrina Gibbs. Ah! Katrina Gibson, age 18, height, when blood type, oh, only daughter, Jean-Jacques, one miss, 70, Jean-Jacques, I keep forgetting his second name, Jean-Jacques, okay, one miss, 17 contest, okay, identifiable by a heart shape, heart sh I said heart shaped, well I said heart, Heart-shaped birthmark on inner thigh. Right, so move to the front. This is a lot of work. Move. Turbo cycle. Back in the 90s, this would have been acceptable. Well, we're just, uh, Gibson's house. We're just so blooming. spoiled now. <laughs> Nobody chatting. What's happened to you all? I know it always happens. The chat always goes a bit quiet after a while, but sometimes I wonder if it's not my phone, but um, the app, the YouTube app, sometimes I don't know why, but stops showing the chat. It's very strange. Access zone, nothing gets through. Right, we're right at John Gibson House. Okay, right. Exit the turbo cycle. And... Back again. Alright, it's a talk. Don't 
Let me talk to her. Have I, have I balls this up? <sighs> oh, this is stupid. It's not letting me do it now. Look. It's not showing the option to uh, positions show. Try a show junk ready. Okay. Right, so we've got a back routine now. Okay. One more time, what type of mat do I have on your body? You can put your hands and then press the start button. Okay, so I don't know. Birthmark? easy birthmark. Okay, got one. Right, now tell me the shape of that birthmark. So it's a heart. And I guess that right the first time. But to be honest with you, this is a game and it was quite easy to think it, it would be a heart. Oops, a daisy. And... Finally, where's the birth? Oh, where is the birthmark? Is it on the thigh? Oh, I've forgotten. I hope it's the thigh. Okay, in a thigh, yeah. That's why I got thrown. We're mesmerized by the exciting get I'll get lost. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. I'm very sorry about all of that. I'm Katrina Gibson, Sean's daughter. I'm... I'm so sorry. What's the matter, Mr. Seed? I'm very sorry, Katrina. It's my fault your father's dead. Gillian. No, if I could have gotten there just a little sooner, your father might still be alive. Oh, Mr. Seed, I appreciate your feelings, but I was always ready for the worst with my father. Every day as I watched him leave for work, will it be today, tomorrow? I knew it was a dangerous job. I love how it's showing Metal Gear's well, face as I'm well. Well, I'm a Junker's daughter. Do you think you'll be alright by yourself? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Besides, I don't think I have any tears left. Katrina, are you sure? Okay, Junker, you've got work to do, right? Keep yourself busy. That's the best way to take your mind off of it. Okay, Katrina. You're probably right. I'll appreciate any help you can give me on this investigation. Do you have blue hair, Katrina? Could you play this part? Right, ask, I think. No? It says do something, but... I don't really talk much with my dad lately. He was always so busy investigating stuff. Cooped up in that study. Okay. Uh, me, I'm just a small bro who never cared about her parents. Do you know of any places that serve buffalo? We found buffalo in your dad's stomach. Buffalo? We never had that here. Gross. Buffalo? I'd never eat that. That can't be Kathina then. I can't believe my dad used informers. items are replicas. They're all genuine antiques. None of this stuff is really valuable. He said it was all used. Katrina, I'm sure all of this is quite a shock for you. Don't worry, I'm here for you. Anytime you can lean on me. Oh, Gillian, spare us, please. <laughs> Thank you, you're a really nice man, Gillian. Wipe away the here, let me wipe away your tears. Killian, I saw you blow your nose into that handkerchief. Uh, right, can we move in around in the house? Okay, we can have a look in his study. Okay. 
Okay. Do you mind if I take a look in your study? Go ahead. This is Gibson's study. This is my dad's study. I haven't touched the thing. Uh, just the way he left it before he died. Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, around the room. Everything's neat and tidy, just like Sean. Wait, there's a personal computer here. Aha! Look, desk. There's a bottle and a photograph and a chessboard on the shelf. Uh, no window. You can see the garden from here. Garden, wow, his own house with a garden and everything. Yeah, but it faces north and it's really quite small. Computer. This is a model PC68 Genesis. These have not been manufactured for nearly 50 years. My father was always using it. Some junk shop gave it to him and he fixed it up. It's still full. It appears to be new. Okay. It's a photograph of Sean Jack Gibson. Oh, he looks younger in that picture. I'd say 40s, but... chess piece on the board, but, uh, ow, 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 ow. Ah, crap. Didn't mean to do that a lot. Did I check the window? Okay, investigate now. Window. As a five inch disk drive. Huh. Then that disk must be for this machine. Let's try and see if we can read it. It's sunscreen, it's a standard type designed to block ultraviolet rays. There's a sticker on the bottom light, it's probably from the place where it was bought. Hmm. It says a store with everything, Plato's Cavern. However, how did you figure on sunscreen? There must be some meaning here. Is it okay if we take this? Go right ahead. I have stored the sunscreen. Okay, good. Um, this picture seems to be a few years old. John looks rather young. Oh, okay, I thought that. The Black Queen is missing. Do something? No. So we need to put the possessions use. No, I don't want to use that. I want to investigate evidence. Just please. That thing where it does use something, it's really annoying. Uh, ask about PC. This is my dad's personal computer, he sort of used it like a diary. Okay. Investigate. Window? No, we found that. Investigate. Chessboard. Ah! I'm getting stuck in the blooming. Right, okay, so. Ask. No, we've already done that, so we don't need to do those. Possessions. Use, maybe? Use. Disc. I haven't got an option for that. Alright, let's turn this one. Oh, we can read the disc, okay. 
So the house in that search, the house was referring to Gibson's house. And that exclamation point was not an exclamation point at all. It was a symbol for the five inch floppy disk. Ah, yeah, I remember that. Look closely, the pack matches the read write holes on the disk. He even drew a little dot to represent the index hole. In other words, it meant to put the disk in the PC-68 at his house. No doubt Jean was worried that something might happen to him. And he prepared the disk for just such an emergency. The machine is reading the disk. Here it is. Snatcher investigation file. Why do Snatchers appear in the winter? Why are Snatchers nocturnal? I believe I have found the answer to these questions. Snatchers' vampire-like behavior is due to their desire to avoid exposure to sunlight. The reason they dislike sunlight is because of their defective artificial skin. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes overproduction of melanocytes in the epidermis of their artificial skin, leading to a form of skin cancer with the characteristics of melanoma. In other words, what we call simple sunburn is fatal to them. This relationship between ultraviolet rays and their artificial skin should give us a way to track them down. It should take at least six more months before they can develop a form of skin which overcomes this defect. These conclusions suggest several useful methods for locating and identifying snatchers. One, investigate skin condition. Check for any evidence of melanoma. Two, check for odor. Cancer cells secrete a unique foul odor. Three, the presence of pollen. Snatchers are believed to hide in areas plentiful in Snow 9, a snow-like bioengineered pollen crystal. As such, Snow 9 can always be detected in places they appear. Snow 9 is an allergen causing throat pain and sneezing. Four, possession of sunscreen. In order to protect their skin from ultraviolet rays, so strong use sunscreen even in the dead of winter. This is due to sunscreen's ability to block ultraviolet rays. Of these techniques, one in four should prove particularly useful. In addition, Besides working to prevent this skin cancer, Snatchers maintain facilities for treating artificial skin which has actually become cancerous. I have succeeded in identifying the hospital where this is performed. P.S. Watch out for a bounty hunter named Random Hajil. Random Hajil. What's wrong with Alice? Is there something out there? Alice? A snatcher, Who maybe. The... Is Alice? Katrina, you stay here. This music normally means shit's going down. So we'll just quickly use Metal Gear. To safe.
Okay, uh, I think we can go back to the living room. I think we can leave. Let me give you my address and video phone number. Now give me a call if anything comes up. Thanks again, Mr. Seed. Take care. <clears throat> And turbo cycle. I think now we have to go to Alton Plaza. Was the last, uh, the last part. All right. Now heading to Alton Plaza. Ooh, very nice. This is Alton Plaza. This place is well known as a rendezvous spot for couples. Is Napoleon here? I can't stand waiting unless it's for a woman. And it's playing Christmas music. Ah, oh, because it's in the Christmas mood. Okay. I always like year end. I enjoy the warm atmosphere of the season. You're quite romantic, aren't you? Well, I guess. Some of the letters are burned out on that great deals, or oh, great meals, sorry, sign over there. What's it say? Meat. Why don't you eat it for yourself? <laughs> I like how it plays around with you a little bit. Uh, advertising display. There are advertisements on all the buildings. They put those ads on everything, but nobody reads them. Here and shopping ideas are on display. Oops. The new navigator will really be it with no mouse circuits, you know. I love it. Uh, nearby people, no? It's the holiday season. People are moving busily here and there. Wait for Napoleon, won't do any good. He probably got upset and went home.
Okay, I'm not sure what I have to do here. Oh! 691170. 691170. I'm going to use the phone. 691170. I just saw it on the board. 69. And it was Plato's Cavern, it said on the advertisement. Thank you for calling Plato's Cavern, the store with everything. May I help you? Everything available at the best prices anyway, and no idea required. That's our motto here at Plato's Cavern. And there's none of that dark atmosphere that you find in so many other black market shops. We're open 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Come in for a visit. That'll answer your questions a lot quicker than me explaining it to you. We're open 24, okay. Okay, let's go to our location store. Where is it located? We're located on 5th Street in the Sanamiya K District. Everything in that area is part of our organisation. Okay, that's pretty much everything. Now well, hopefully he's going to turn up. No. Oh, this is getting really annoying. Sometimes it won't trigger anything. You just have to keep doing it. Except Plato's Cavern popped up and I thought that was the answer. But it doesn't seem like it is and nothing's popping up here. That's not good. Um, I'm a bit lost and I don't want to go around in circles all night. I'll show you something. This is really strange that it's not... It's giving some different things. There is an option for pick up women. This is ridiculous. I don't think we're supposed to try and pick up women. It says he probably got upset and went home, so I don't know if I've just... Maybe I have to go away and come back or something. Ha <laughs> 
Right, I'm going to use Metal Gear and uh, save it. <laughs> I know. It definitely gets annoying when you're... Um, I'll have to look it up on the internet, what you're supposed to do, because I'm con completely... Uh, I'm completely stuck there as to what I should be doing. So, well, I'll call it a night there anyway, because I was going to, I was actually going to call it a night after two hours, so uh, it's pretty pretty much there. I think I was like four, four minutes off or something, so it's not like it was, uh, oh, it's hugely out. Um, well, I don't know, it's been a... It's been a strange stream, but it's interesting. It's a, I just I haven't played it for so long. I think 1999 or something I played this. Or might be no, it's probably before that actually. Might be 1993. I played it on Sega CD, my friend's Sega CD, because I wasn't rich enough to have one. Um, and I just remember I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it today until that point because I have no idea what to do next. Um, I don't know, maybe there's another phone number or something that I have to look for, I don't know. Because it, it really felt like I had taken a step forward when I saw the... Uh, when I saw the uh, the phone number, I thought, alright, oh, okay. Then I think this is how you move forward, but then it just went back to it. So we'll have to see. Okay, so I th I'm going to say 9-7, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your evening. And I'll try to stream during the week. If not, it should be next Friday or Saturday. All right. See you later, people. Oh, I forgot to say 9-7.